Hello everyone, in this video we will be going over the graphical user interface or GUI that goes along with our underwater glider. So to get things started, we'll go ahead and open up our submarine software and change this macro to true. And this will turn on all the compilation that is uh, associated with our user interface. We can then grab our USB cable and plug it into the main board and upload our code. Once that's all uploaded, we can open up the uh, TypeScript project that um, runs our graphical user interface and type in arc start. And this will start compiling our project for us. All this code can be found in our GitHub, uh, which is linked down in the description. So this whole project, as you can see, it's not the very best way to launch uh, our user interface and once it's mostly finished we will be launching an actual application that doesn't require you to use all these command line tools. So once this uh, user interface is connected we can enter uh, the interface and uh, let me show you what is kind of going on here. So the first number you see here is the loop time and it's just some basic information. This is just how many times every second our program is running. Then we have our system state, and we're um, in the calibrating state right now, but um, the steppers aren't moving, and we'll get those moving sooner uh, later in the video. Um, next up, we have our CPU temperature. This is just how warm, or I guess how hot, our microcontroller unit is currently. And then we have the voltage, which is um, about how many volts we're getting from our batteries. And in this case, it's actually from the USB power supply. Um, so if we go on to our mechanics page, this is where we can actually uh, control our stepper motor. So right now, um, the, the speed is set to zero, which is why it's not moving, but we can set this to 2000 and our acceleration to 2000 and we can start going and you can see our stepper motor starts moving and it is in the calibrating state. So it's going to keep moving our little ballast until it hits a limit switch. That way we know where our ballast uh, mechanism is. So at the very top we have a progress bar and this just shows us relatively where our um, ballast mechanism is um, in relation to the limit switch. We then have this um, reading which is our current position which with some arbitrary units called half steps. And um, this is just our current position as it relates to our target position, which is where we want the whole stepper to be. And um, as we go back towards our calibrating state, which is kind of technically also our diving state because it's pulling in water, um, our target position changes. If we go into the settings, we can pause our uh, stepper motor and you can see we go into an idle state. And we can play around with the speed, like we can set it to maybe 500 and then resume and now the whole uh, stepper motor will move at a much slower rate and then we can go ahead and pause again if we want and resume this uh, graph right here just shows us our stepper position over time so this is super simple I really want to add some more controls to it but um, in reality this is kind of all that we need finally we have our navigation page and this is just some readings from our inertial measurement unit um, in some cool looking graphs I guess. So first of all we have our orientation. This is just our um, our orientation in degrees right here and then we have our angular rays from our gyroscope. You can see if I kind of spin it around we get some um, angular momentum in the or not angular, angular rotation in the roll axis here and we also have an accelerometer that you can see uh, we're getting some readings there from. And then we have some time slice graphs here which are pretty cool. They just show us like our, um, our gyroscope and accelerometer readings kind of in a different format. So super simple. Um, I definitely want to add some more to this whole graphical user interface but uh, this is just a very simple overview. We can just go ahead and just pause this stepper again and disconnect. So this whole project, you can find this on the GitHub link down below, 
Uh, it's definitely not finished, but the GitHub will have the most updated version at all times um, if you want to take a look at the code. This was built with Electric UI, and all these links will be down in the description. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, let, let us know what you think. If you have any uh, questions, leave them in the comments below. But other than that, have a great day.